South Sudan was recently declared a level three humanitarian emergency, a distinction shared only by Syria and the Central African Republic. The UN has publicly issued warnings of famine, um, and we're seeing a very quickly deteriorating situation. We have perhaps a million people that have been displaced in, in the last three months, um, and South Sudan is is a bit of a geographical um, special case and that the largest swamp in the world actually sits upon the areas where troops are fighting right now. So what we're going to see is within a few months, it's an area that you can't drive trucks into. And in Sudan, it's pretty bad because uh, the main problem is access to rebel areas in both Darfur, South Kolof and Blue Nile as well, uh, where huge population is, is trapped, especially in South Kolof, maybe all in all, we are talking about one million, more, maybe more people who have uh, been deprived of uh, any uh, relief except uh, very limited cross-border relief done illegally by, by a few humanitarians, and it's not the it's not the solution. So, on on this, there is not any negotiation to be had. It's just international players have to remain mobilized to pressure the government uh, as well as the rebels. Uh, and also to just to remain mobilized. I mean, today Darfur is, is just like, there is a huge fatigue about Darfur. There is no money for Darfur. Even for very easily accessible places like uh, refugee camps in Chad, where there are 300,000 refugees since 10 years now, there's no more money for them. 